another very warm morning here in Napoli and I'm setting back to the train station um, so I can do Vesuvius today since I didn't have time to do it yesterday. I'm super excited to do Vesuvius. I'm really hoping to get there as quickly as possible so I can get up to the top and back uh, before it gets too hot. Uh, it's supposed to be, I think, like 90 degrees today. <laughs> First we have to find it, uh, we've got like five minutes before it leaves, otherwise we're gonna have to wait an hour for the next one. So fingers crossed we find it, and then once we get on the bus, we'll buy our ticket and it's timed entry every 10 minutes. And if you miss your entry window, you don't get a refund, they won't let you in. So personally, I think it's better to book it like after you get on the bus, because for example, my train was just late getting in. I don't know if I'm gonna make this bus or not. This is one of those cases that it really pays to like wait until the last second to do something. Okay, so when you get off the train, literally just come out, walk right across the street, you'll see an orange taxi sign. Right next to that is where you want to get in line for the bus for Vesuvius. It's very important, it's cash only on the bus. It's 360 per person, one way. Make sure you have cash. Ideally you have exact change, because the guy when I got on didn't have change. Thankfully I had enough coins in my bag, which is fine. But FYI, bring cash when you're going to Vesuvius, so you're gonna need it for the bus. 360 a person, one way. getting up here so heads up with that if you have a weak stomach or if you're hungover like the girls behind me were it's not gonna be a fun ride for you so you can see they drop you off very close to the entrance which is just over there you do need to buy a timed ticket here's the key with this the tickets open up an hour beforehand so you really have to wait until you're almost like pretty much on the bus to buy them but you will lose service about 25 minutes into the ride so it's imperative that not only do you buy your ticket, you download it, and with the system you have to verify your phone number and your email address. You can do that ahead of time, so you're already like prepared and ready to go, and then you just have to click and buy. But it's very important that you like screenshot or download your ticket because you're not gonna have service up here in order to get a ticket or to download the ticket you already have. There was Wi-Fi up here. Um, the blog I read when I was prepping to come up here said there was no service. I'm guessing they didn't see this little Wi-Fi sign here. You can scan it with your phone and connect uh, to the Wi-Fi. It's not like the strongest signal, but if you need it, you can use it. It works. Okay, so I know I just said there was Wi-Fi here, and there is. It's working right now, but I get the impression that it doesn't always work because I just went to check out a little gift shop behind me, and there's a sign. A, saying there are no toilets, so 
the original information I gave you is correct. There's no bathroom up here. Um, so go before you get on the bus and buy your ticket ahead of time because I'm noticing A, the signs about the Wi-Fi and no tickets and not always working. Plan ahead, buy your ticket on the bus before you get up here, and then there's just no stress. So they let me in about 10 minutes before my timed entry ticket. I also now have a coffee date when I come back down off of Vesuvius. I don't say no to coffee, especially when it's with a cute Italian guy. So obviously I said yes. Uh, so here's hoping I'm not a sweaty mess at the end of this. say it, I feel like it should be obvious, but wear tennis shoes when you come here. The ground is like a lot of rock, a lot of like dust, it's slippery. You're gonna have a hard time getting up here in flip-flops or Birkenstocks. Some fun facts about Vesuvius. Um, the first recorded time of it erupting is 79 AD when it covered Pompeii very famously. Um, so it's really cool to be here today when I did Pompeii yesterday. Um, before that, it was 1800 years since it had erupted, so nobody was really expecting it. Uh, let's see what other fun facts I found since then. It's erupted six times in the 18th century, eight times in the 19th century, and only three times in the 20th century, with the last time being March 17th, 1944. So, in a weird way, it's probably a little overdue to erupt. Let's just hope it doesn't decide to erupt today. And he still doesn't get it. It is now. Um, not only is it dangerous, it's just it's honestly just so dumb.
And now it's really just a matter of hiking back down. Um, the great thing too is once you get up here, A, the path becomes a lot calmer, like there's way less people because a lot of people just get to the first like stopping point and then turn around and go back. But if you keep going, the path thins out, it's super relaxing, and there's also a really nice breeze, making it like kind of the perfect afternoon activity, especially on a hot day. It's like 90 degrees right now and it does not feel it. Um, to get to the very end of the trail, it took me like an hour and a half, but that was also stopping a lot to take pictures and videos and chatting to people. So depending on your pace, you could probably do it in like an hour, but I think it also depends on your fitness level. I've seen a lot of people struggling, a lot of people not wearing tennis shoes. Like, just wear tennis shoes, don't wear sandals. It should be common sense, but for some reason it's not. I did break down. I got a glass of wine on my way back. Um, the second like station that you pass coming back, the prices are actually very good. It's two euro for a glass of wine. How can you say no to that? Especially when you get to try the wine and the grapes that grew on Vesuvius. On top of Vesuvius. I think it's a really good deal for two euro. And look at this view. at Vesuvius that was going to be the end of the video but then something happened and I felt like it was wrong not to share it so this is mainly for all the single ladies there is a guard named Raphael that will ask you out I fell for it he seemed charming he seemed cute he like literally followed me after like, I went to the security gate to ask for my number asked me for coffee as I was leaving, he ran over and was like, oh, you didn't text me back. You know, can I give you a ride back to Napoli? Can I like take you for coffee? I politely declined because I don't get in the car with somebody I just met. And so he pulls out his phone. He's like, well, you know, you didn't text me back. Can I just make sure I've got your number? Seems reasonable, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I could see his phone. He had messaged like seven or eight girls all the same message about you know wanting to take them for coffee and how beautiful they are and blah 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 in about the time that it had taken me to go up and down Vesuvius which was maybe like two and a half hours I called him out because he stopped at a text with a girl named Shailene and I was like oh Shailene is this your number my name's not Shailene I think it's really disgusting that he's hitting on that many women during his work shifts I mean, it's very Italian. Ladies, don't fall for it. Now you know, avoid Raphael. He's at security. Chances are, if you're single and you're cute, he's gonna hit on you. Do what you want. If you wanna go out with him, go for it. But I don't imagine it's gonna be great. I could be wrong. But anyway, that's my little PSA for the day. With that, I'm back in Napoli. I'm gonna go get myself some pasta, a little drink, and get a little bit of work done, and I'll see you in the next video.